Morning and welcome to the fifth part of the Water Lost Sailing Canoe building series. So last time we vanished the entire inside of the boat so everything's painted with clear coat and today we are going to put the deck on top of the boat and start sanding so we're going to flip the boat over once the deck is on top. I already have the deck here, you saw it last time, I put fiberglass on this side, so this side is all prepped up and painted and vanished. So it can be put with this side down onto the boat and then we will have to do the outside of the boat. But it's really coming together, I'm happy to see this. Do you need something? Let's build it! But before we can actually put the deck onto the boat, we will first have to sand all the areas where the deck will meet the boat. Um, because there are like some leftovers from the vanish and some epoxy leftovers where the new epox epoxy couldn't stick on. So I'll give it a quick sand and then mix up some epoxy and yeah, clamp the deck on. We'll have to figure out how to clamp the deck down properly, but I will find a solution for that. Just trial and error, doing a dry fit. That's a very usable thing because I have it installed so I have I can like move it around underneath the boat. I have enough cable for that. So I can work without unplugging um, the electrical from the from the sanders or source or from the aspirator or whatever. And I can work on the entire boat um, just by moving the little like the splitter around, which is very handy. So now I'm done sanding, so I'm quickly going to take out the dust on the front and the aft because this will be fully enclosed afterwards and then I'm going to dry fit the deck and then if everything fits and it, I get it clamped down I will mix some epoxy and install the deck on the boat. Be good. Just a little thing I always do if I mix on some vanish that really doesn't smell too good. I let it, if I have a rest, I let it dry inside of the can. I just always put a little bit of newspaper on top of everything where I have a rest of paint in so it doesn't smell that bad. Little tip if you do something, something similar. Good, but now I clean everything. So I'm ready to mix in some epoxy. Put these on the side. I also always put them upside down so there's no dust collection inside of them. If I am going to reuse them, which I mostly do. Good. Now for the epoxy also I just use like old aluminum cans from like cat food. Works pretty well. Dust inside of this one. So, if you see me doing this, like pressing on top of there and just holding a finger down below, it's because there's actually air inside of the pump. So, I press out the air of the pump all the way. Like now, I have, I know the air is, the air is out. So, I press my finger underneath there and let it go up again. 
um, so it, new air cannot go into it, so it has to take up the hardener in this case that goes inside the tube. So if I press again, hardener will become out and I don't have air in my mix because then the ratio would be incorrect. I'm going to do this multiple times. Yeah, now I see there's resin coming. quite cold inside here, so it goes a little bit harder than normally because the resin is just not as fluid as it is when it's hot. Mixing it very well. Quickly going to heat up the resin a little bit um, to mix it better because it's not like fully fluid. It's a little, little bit hard because it's a cold inside here. It's actually it's warm enough, but it's not perfect. Just put on 50 degrees heat gun should be good. I don't want to cook the resin. I just want to heat it up a little bit. Heat gun, by the way, also removes the bubbles from the resin or from a vanish. So, if you have like bubbles in an already coated um, surface paint or something, you can just slightly go over it with a heat gun and it will remove the bubbles. So, I'm quickly going to lay you down somewhere here so you can have a look like this. Yes, good. So, going to coat uh, all the areas that will meet with the deck. First with a layer of epoxy to let the epoxy soak into the bare wood and afterwards I'm going to put on top of the epoxy when it's still wet, so like immediately afterwards, uh, a coat of thickened epoxy and then I will put on the deck which I dry fitted.
a week later. Everything is glued. I used clamps to clamp everything on the inside. I used bigger clamps to move the panels slightly inwards because they were bent to, towards the outside. Different kind of weights to get everything weighted down. Straps, everything I had laying around and screws along the side. Used thickened epoxy on the seam right here and some places it actually came out which is good. Some places there are still little gaps where I have to fill in more epoxy. Yeah, but I'm going to remove all the weights, the clamps, going to clean up all of this mess down below here. And then I'm going to flip the boat over again to start working on the outer side of the hull and to fill in the gaps there. Damn it. That's what happens when you fail to sand the deck before you apply it. I'm so stupid. It's just... How can one be so stupid? I, I told you you would have to like sand the, all of this area right here where my finger is, so on the boat. But what I didn't do is sand the underside of the deck. So, such an idiot. Well, I'm going to remove the rest of the screws. Hopefully I will be able to remove the entire deck without breaking it. Should be able to do it because there's fiberglass on the inside. Yeah, and then I will have to do this whole process again. Yay, don't be stupid. Stupidity gets bestraft. So all of this is quite frustrating, but it's not actually a problem. I'm going to be able to take away the entire deck and it looks quite good because it just bonds nowhere to the boat. Well, that was easier than I thought, so yeah, a little bit stupid and frustrating, but nothing grave that happened. I'm able to do this again, just sanding this time before I glue it. Now I also know that I have to apply more pressure to the frames because they're like, you know, if you can see, you see on top of there, there was the deck glued and all in the between here, it actually would leak if I would flip the hull over and there would be water entering the hull. So I have to figure out how to do this when I glue it again, because this is just gonna be leaking inside of this area which actually should be dry. Also, it's leaking from the mast step if it is 
do it like this. Ta -da -da, and again a little bit of sanding. So after sanding the boat again and this time the deck as well and getting over my frustration the next morning I put on a little bit more epoxy this time so the deck could make the boat surface everywhere and glued the deck on again. screws are removed. Looking good so far. We have some holes where the bottom part of the screws are still in. I'm just going to fill over them and then they are enclosed in epoxy so no water should be able to access there so that's fine. Just have one left over here where the head is filled with epoxy so I'm not able to screw them out because there's no screw visible. So I'm going to somehow remove this epoxy to get the screw out of there because it's like just like one millimeter underneath the surface and I don't want to risk that it gets wet somehow. to get the screw out. Uh, normally I'm just going to take like a little Dremel tool and cutting a slot into the screw like this and then going to remove it with a flathead screw bit. But the screw was so tight I wasn't able to do this so I just flexed it down a little bit until it sits underneath the surface. Going to fill this up with thickened epoxy like all of the other screw holes and then this should be nice. Just like now it's like three millimeters or more underneath the surface so even if there was scratch over it it wouldn't scratch into the metal and water is not going to be able to access the screw which would be not so good. Yeah but yeah this time everything went good. I used a little bit more of epoxy on the fillets. Um, I also sanded the deck before I attached it. So the lesson I learned from this well, the fact that I messed up the first time I glued the deck on is not to rush your work. If you have like limited time, don't do a work that needs much time because then mistakes like not sanding the underside of the deck, which is a very obvious thing, can happen and that's just not good. So take your time, think about what you're doing and just do your work good, not only fast. I am very happy that this is good now. So I'm looking forward to continue working trim the edges and then flip the boat over and do the bottom. But that's it for the fifth part of the Water Lost Sailing Canoe building series. So thank you for watching up here or there, I never know. Uh, it's a link to the other videos. Thank you very much and see you next video. Oh, and as always, if you have questions or comments, just type them down below. See you.